So one of the reasons why I became a Christian, to be honest with you, is the uniqueness of the Bible. Now, we can imagine that how Hollywood portray zombies, how zombies, they come back to life, but they come back to life to kill. And nothing else could kill them, but if you cut off their head or put the, the, the dart in their heart. But our message that I'm dealing with today is to tell you that Jesus Christ become the first begotten of the dead. The Bible say he was risen three, he was seen three times from, from when he died. He came back to life and he appeared to the 10th disciples. Thomas was not there. And Thomas said, unless I see the print in his side, in his hand, and the spirit in his side, I will not believe. And Jesus Christ appeared to him and said, Thomas, blessed that thou have not seen me, but yet believe. So the uniqueness of Jesus Christ is that Jesus become the first begotten of the dead. Imagine a dead man come back to life. And then when he come back to life, he say the reason why, because I am the resurrection and the life. And I tell people that you can have the same experience of Jesus Christ's life. He was dead, he was buried, and he was resurrected. So when you are dead to sin, buried to the old man, and he resurrected in newness of life. So the uniqueness of being a Christian is you're dead to sin, you're buried to old man, and the new man is resurrected. So Jesus become the first begotten of the dead. Now, I want to be different from how preachers present the gospel because I want you to imagine that the gospel is not some garbage. The gospel is not just goodies, like Santa Claus got goodies in his bag, but the gospel is good news about the dead. Come back to life because Jesus Christ told them, I'm not the God of the dead, but I'm the God of the living. And the reason why I say that because they were saying this man had, this, this woman have seven brothers. And then they say that who brother is she going to be in the resurrection? But they say, Jesus Christ say, I am the God of the living, not the God of the dead. And now the rich man, we go, we go to the Bible now. The, the, the Bible say the rich man. He told Father Abraham, if somebody rose from the dead and tell them that don't come to this place called hell. But Father Abraham said, they have Moses and the prophet. Let them hear them. Be one rose from the dead. Be persuaded one rose from the dead. Now, 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 now the reason why I'm, I draw this message because a lot of people believe that Michael Jackson is still alive. A lot of people believe that Tupac is still alive. A lot of people believe that Elvis Presley is still alive. But when it comes to Jesus, they say he's dead. But let's go back further now. Let's go back further when, Lord to God, they say that put some men at the sepulchre. When, where in history have we seen anybody guard the sepulchre. The, the sepulchre was the grave site. But I wish people would, 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 would guard the, 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 the burial site because people are so disrespectful to the dead. They would dig up a, a person and, and take off the, the garment or the, the take out the, the take out the body and throw it and redo the casket and sell it. But this case I'm talking about is where the Jesus was sepulchre was guarded. And when the sepulchre was guarded, how the Bible say an angel came down 
And then the Bible say the stone was rolled away. And the soldiers say that, glory to God, they lied and say the disciples came by night and took his body. But the Bible say they paid the soldiers to lie. Now, I hope an atheist is listening to this. I hope some people that don't believe in God is listening to this. Because the uniqueness of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus was risen. Because when he was at the garden and how Mary Magdalene, she thought it was a gardener. And Jesus Christ said, Mary and Jesus Christ, she said, Rabona, and Jesus said, don't touch me yet because I've not ascended to your father, but go and tell my disciples that I'm risen. So the uniqueness of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died and came back to life and proved that I'm the God of the living and not God of the dead. So I stop by tell somebody, if you don't want to believe nothing else, believe the resurrection story. Because a resurrection story can change your life. If you want to be a saved person, if you want to be born again, if you want to live newness of life, believe the resurrection story. The resurrection story will change your mind about skeptical authenticity of the Bible. The Bible is the one of the greatest book that ever been written for mankind. Now, I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible 110%. And the reason why I believe the Bible is because my family forsake me. My mother was a witch. Hey, God, and when I told her that she was a witch, my friend, she, they, they, they disowned me. I haven't talked to my brother and sister since my mother died. Ten years ago and I tell people the reason why my friend because I told I gave them a two-page letter that my mother is a witch was a witch is a witch and I don't know if she, if she confessed her sin while I visit her every time to the, to the hospice I'm telling you the uniqueness of the biblical stories the Bible is true my friend the uniqueness of Jesus Christ came back to life he conquered death. He said, no man take my life. Have the power to take it. Have the power to lay down. Have the power to take it up again. And I believe, I believe the story, my friend. I believe the biblical story, all of them. I believe that a donkey, a jackass, talk to the prophet. I believe that a, a, a man called Jonah was in the whale belly. I believe the story, my friend. I believe it. And if you believe it, you can be saved. If you don't believe it, you'll never be saved. It takes belief to believe the biblical stories. I believe that, glory to God, that Jesus Christ walked on water. I believe they fed the 5,000. I believe it, my friend. I, I believe it. And if you don't believe it, you'll never be saved. Because the Bible says, without faith, the apostles of peace, God, he that cometh to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God. Have faith in God. So the way, the uniqueness of Jesus Christ. His uniqueness, my friend. Uniqueness. He's different from Elijah Muhammad. He's different from Socrates. He's different from Helen G. White. He's different, my friend, from, from the Holly Sung Mung Moon. He's different from Daddy Gray. He's different, glory to God, from, from, from uh, the man that killed Jim Jones. He's different from Daddy Gray. The reason why I say Daddy Gray, because a lot of people worship Daddy Gray. They, they, have, they even have a plate sit at the people's temple daddy grace temple i'm telling you the uniqueness of jesus christ it's real my friend the gospel of jesus christ is real and if you don't believe it you will never be saved if you believe it you will be saved like i'm saved not because i'm saved because jesus christ saved me not according to my good works but according to my belief in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So it's time for you to believe. If you want to be saved, 
You gotta believe the biblical story, the biblical story. You gotta believe every dot and tittle. You gotta believe everything that's written. If not, you'll never be saved. You'll be that lady that's saying that life after church. My friend, the Bible is real. <laughs>